What brings the worst out in people? Divorce proceedings. Especially with kids involved. It can turn a couple of average people into monsters. When a loved one dies. People get really, really weird in a bad way about money and stuff. I know a bunch of people who had relatives who flat out stole money and valuables after the death of a family member. It's crazy. My own family has a permanent rift because when my grandmother died, two of the five siblings cleaned out her accounts. The word free in a retail or restaurant type of setting. People will trample one another, take all of the items so there aren't any for others, gorge themselves, try to sneak food out with them. It's disgusting. Weddings. My father is a minister. He says he would rather help with a funeral over a wedding any day. Weddings leave people with a sense of extreme desperation to achieve perfection. I always like the halt rule. If you're feeling hungry, angry, late or tired then it's likely things you say or do will come off worse than you intend. Edit, lots of replies about the L being lonely. That works too. Turns out learning acronyms differently brings out the worst in some people too. Stress. Most of us are capable of being decent human beings who make a positive contribution to society. You add stress into the mix and people start to crack. Financial stress, relationship stress, work stress, it doesn't matter. When our focus is pulled into simply surviving and staying afloat, our ability to empathize or provide support to others greatly diminishes. I think this is tied in with the low morale we are all experiencing right now, we're all unbelievably stressed. I've seen some of the nicest people completely snap and act shockingly because they just can't take the pressure anymore. Traffic. Inheritances. I've seen both my family and friends' families absolutely ripped apart after someone dies and another family member doesn't feel they've received their share or that the will was unfair or that property mysteriously goes missing before the estate is settled. Awful, awful stuff. I think the worst is my friend's dad and his sister haven't spoken for over 30 years due to a squabble over their mother's will. 30 years. The kicker is that they're both quite well off on their own, friend's dad is a very, very successful trial lawyer and friend's aunt married a successful doctor. This wasn't money either of them ever actually needed, but they've not had a relationship for decades because of it. Sad face. Hunger can make people do things they never thought they were capable of doing. It can drive you mind out of control. Desperation. Unprocessed trauma from childhood. As someone that is struggling with mental health, I'm only now beginning to understand why I do a lot of what I do. When our needs for love and acceptance aren't met, we seek out soothing behaviors that numb the pain. It's really easy to end up in midlife with no real idea what it means to be happy and feeling no connection to others. As you begin to work on your issues, you find that the soothing behaviors are no longer as soothing because you know why you're doing it. So, you're stuck with the emptiness that you've always felt and no way to get out of the feeling. When you were told to wait 20 minutes and it's now been 21 minutes and you are still waiting. Anonymity. Putting a mask on, being on the internet, or otherwise concealing one's identity. People do some very fucked up things when they know they won't be held accountable. Some good answers here, to which I'll add, giving things away for free. I've had the surreal experience of working at a Long Island tennis tournament attended by generally very wealthy people. They arrived in top-end luxury cars or limos, wearing designer clothes, and watches worth more than my car. I was tasked with opening a case of some sort of little branded tchotchke, like cheap pens, keychains, etc. And handing them out to the attendees as they walked the sponsor areas. People went berserk, shoving each other, lunging across the table, thank cripes there was a table, to grab stuff from my hand, missing key tennis matches to lurk by our tent, awaiting the next crap dispersal, wow. I've seen this type of thing happen many other times too, with people going to great lengths just to get some pittance of which they have no need. Power. Money. The moment money is involved, a person's true nature comes out, and most of the time it won't be pretty. Black Friday. Travel. To know what a person is really like go traveling with them. Scarcity. Jealousy. Not just for success. I've seen many relationships crumble because someone was happier than the other. Funerals. All the heightened emotions make people irrational. 
Any buried family drama comes out at the worst possible time. I've been caught in the middle of it before. I didn't even know the deceased, I was there supporting my friend who had lost her mother. Someone decided this was the time to air a 20-year-old grudge as my friend walked by. My friend was so caught off guard by the accusations she was speechless. I told this crazy lady this wasn't the time or the place for this conversation so she turned on me. Next thing I knew some other family member was violently yanking her out of the room. I guess it could have been worse, but why did you have to make a scene at a funeral? Not being accepted by other people. Social contact and validation is no different from food or water. Yes, people can starve on validation too. That's why simple things like greeting strangers in the street, or always saying thank you, are so critically important. People get real stupid when it comes to their kids. The, my baby can do no wrong, attitude when your child is fucking shit up needs to stop. Thinking they're being cheated. It almost makes me want to stop doing games in class because if there's two teams, both teams always complain that the other team has some sort of unfair advantage. In reality, neither team understands the true length of a minute and thinks they're being cheated on time. Ego. Echo chambers. It is easy to dehumanize people who are different than you when you never spend any time interacting with them. Pain. But at the same time it can bring out the strength you never thought you had, too. Mario Kart. Monopoly. Uno. Basically any game where you can really fuck over your friends and family. A pandemic, obviously. Politics. Bullying. I got bullied a lot in primary school. As soon as I got rid of my bullies in secondary school, I started bullying other people in my new school. I regret it, I was such a dick then. Former legal assistant here I'm telling you, you don't ever see the worst in someone until you're in the middle of a nasty divorce fighting for custody of your children. It's horrendous how evil some people can be to someone they once loved. Death in the family. Nothing draws the worst of the worst extended family out from under their rock like the prospects of free shit. Depression. Sometimes depression doesn't express itself only as sadness. Sometimes it expresses itself as a really loathsome form of selfishness and desperation, and you will do almost anything to try and feel right again, and you don't care as much as you should who you step on to feel that way. I'm someone who treated many great people very very poorly while I was in some of the darker parts of my life. It certainly doesn't excuse my behavior, but it has helped me to come to grips with it a bit, to stop punishing myself, and to help me understand the responsibility I have in dealing with my mental health. Parking. You winning the lottery. Your family will turn into super leeches. Diarrhea. Not to be generic, but money. More specifically in my case, a well-paying job. I've seen some of my friends go from being cool, humble people with okay paying jobs to being complete snobs about money as soon as they got a well-paying one. As soon as they started making more money than most of their friends they would rub it in our faces, or compare incomes, claiming we need to step it up, and that it's our fault we're poor. Cocaine. Entitlement. Custody battles. Holy fuck. Traffic, the after work rush home is the worst. Everyone is tired, has generally had a bad day and will do anything just to get home and relax. I-4 in Tampa is basically Mad Max Fury Road but with regular cars. League of Legends. Alcohol. If alcohol were discovered tomorrow, it would be illegal. Organized religion. Specifically Christianity. I'm a Christian, and I think religion and personal faith is fine, but when you start having multi-million dollar church buildings and preachers with million dollar private jets, something's gone wrong. Money. The poor want it the rich use it and the inheritors will kill over it. Reddit. 